Martin, I can see from your T-shirt that Outright Engineering specialises in motorsport. What else do you do here? We specialise in uh, wire roading, five axis, um, sparky roading. We've got a fabrication department next door. Uh, we actually specialise in all areas of motorsport. There aren't actually many parts we can't actually make on a, on a motorsport car. OK, so do you get involved in the design or is it purely subcontract machining? Um, we mainly do design, but we do get involved in consultancy with, with designers. They quite often phone us up and ask us questions on how, how to go about machining parts and um, whether it's possible. Sometimes they come up with the impossible. Um, yeah. It's OK, and we're here on behalf of HA Technologies, who supply Mitsubishi EDM in the UK. How have you found the experience? Um, yeah, no, HK Technologies is a very good company to deal with. Uh, we've been dealing with them now for probably 12 years. Um, we started off with some old machines just to put our feet in the water, and we've slowly progressed and carried on using Mitsubishi machines. What Mitsubishi machines do you have on site currently? Uh, we currently have on site an FA 10VS. Um, we have two uh, spark eroders with the Mitsubishi machines, and we also have, we've just taken delivery of this one. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, two wire rotors on site and two spark eroders. And the 2400S, it's a very popular machine, but I'm interested to learn why you went for it. But, uh, it's just the, the later technology and everything, it cuts far quicker, um, it does everything a lot better than the older technology. Um, we went for the race head machine, um, and it, it just does everything it's supposed to do, um, what they said it would do. So presumably this is making you a lot more efficient, you're now running lights out, so is this putting outright engineering in a different marketplace? It, we're still keeping in the same marketplace, but it means we can react more confidently than tell customers that there's going to be a job ready for them in the morning. The older machines, uh, they weren't so efficient, uh, the wire feed used to mess up on them. This one hasn't, has never let us down on wire feed or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you have an ad service on the new machine, but on the older machines, how have you found the backup from HK? Uh, HK uh, backup's very good. They, uh, they've always responded. There's always, if you don't get an, an immediate answer on the phone, there's always someone, someone to leave a message with and they get back to you within a couple of hours. Um, we've never had, had any machines go down for more than sort of probably 24 hours. So you mentioned the machine's quicker. How much quicker? Well, it's probably around about 30% quicker on, on cutting time on like for like machining on the, on the same job. And how about accuracy? Accuracy, yes, no, accuracy is very good. Uh, it's far, far more accurate than the old, old technology. Um, the technology has just moved on the fact that you program it and it cuts size. So it's more accurate, it's faster and more reliable? Uh, yes, definitely. And you mentioned you went for the increased Z axis. Why was that? Yes, we went for the increased Z axis. We've got 420 in Z, and it just gives us that advantage over other, other uh, competitors. Um, it would encourage people to come more in our direction. And I know you went for the MV2400S Advance. Uh, yes, it's the first one to come into the country. It's got, uh, got a lot more technology and, and new functions on it. Uh, there's still functions on there that we're learning and uh, improving the, uh, the um, speed that we, we get think parts off the machine. Outright Engineering, very successful company, but what does the future hold? Uh, the future holds for our engineering the fact we've, we're always invested in the latest technology in Mitsubishi, uh, with the latest in five axis machines. We're looking at possibly going into 3D printing. Yeah, everything's looking very good and bright for Outright Engineering. We've probably invested um, half a million pound in the company over the last couple of years. Um, things are looking bright.